should we hold manufacturers accountable to set standards of, I don't know, maybe in the first 10,000 miles, the thing shouldn't piss gas and piss oil everywhere? I think so. Maybe I'm crazy. What up, guys? Sometimes you guys ask me, hey, Adrian, how come you don't like Royal Enfields? Well, here's one that I see way too often. This must be like the third or fourth time it's been going to the shop in the last year and a half, maybe. And um, I think most recently, like, they just do a lot of stuff where things go wrong and there's sort of this I was talking to the owner and we kind of agreed it's sort of a high maintenance diva bike kind of situation where things just keep sort of failing on it in this case now it's gonna get the entire gas tank replaced which isn't gonna be cheap but the seal just you can tell just spills gas it doesn't seal the fuel in there it's it's disappointing because it's a bike that I want to love but uh, yeah anyway Now overall, when you're looking up close at it, you can tell that there's some really visible seams and stuff where the finish isn't nice and rounded like it is on uh, Triumph's bikes. Totally different price points, so that's understandable, don't get me wrong. Obviously there's some side covers that are off right now, fair enough. But uh, unfortunately this one just keeps going back to the shop for different things failing on it. Probably could do with an oil change. But honestly, you don't have to worry about that oil because it leaks it out anyway. So that's how much it leaked in just like the 10 minutes 15 minutes tops that it was on the uh, truck bed i guess what i'm getting at is most of the time when you have motorcycles going to a shop and it's not like a warranty failure it's just something has failed more often than not a lot more often than people might imagine it's not that motorcycles have failed their owners it's that owners have failed to take care of their motorcycle and that's why something went wrong in the case of the Royal Enfield, that's that's not really the case. These guys have like three or four bikes. They, they know how to take care of bikes. It's just that this Enfield just keeps having stuff wrong with it. And you might be thinking, well, it's 10 years old, whatever. Granted, yeah, okay, sure, it is about 10 years old, but shouldn't that be the real test? Any bike brand new should be perfect, right? Can it actually hold up more than five years? Or is it just, you better have it when it's new and get rid of it real quick, otherwise you're screwed with a bad bike. Because in my opinion, a good bike, if you take care of it, lasts longer than five years. So that bike had about under 8,000 kilometers, around 8,000 kilometers, just about 5,000 miles. 5,000 miles, you shouldn't be having stuff leaking everywhere. You shouldn't be having to replace your um, fuel tank because you've already tried to replace the fuel cap and the seal, and that's not doing it. To me, that says that there are manufacturing issues. Serious case of you get what you pay for, basically, long story short. And a lot of people will say, but Adrian, the new Royal Enfields are so much better. But as a guy who's been riding for 15 years, I heard that when the previous group of Royal Enfields came out. And I'm still not impressed with those. And that's why I still can't recommend those to anybody. Um, and I don't think right now any of us, honestly, truthfully, have enough experience with these things, the new Royal Enfields I'm talking about, simply because they haven't been out all that long. So even if you're somebody who you put 50,000 clicks, the bike's only two years old, three years old, whatever it is, we haven't had time to see how well these things hold up to the test of time. And I think that's a big part of, of any vehicle's real reliability rating is not just kilometers used or I've had it for two years. It's been fine. It's the first two years. It should be fine. If it was anything but perfect, you get my point. We need to make sure that the standards are in line with reality. And reality is you can't judge a new motorcycle by its first two years. You really got to give it about five years. That's when you can honestly and accurately and, and really truthfully give an honest yes or no on the reliability of a vehicle. And the new Royal Enfields aren't there yet. Anyway, feel free to disagree with me down in the comments section. You have an argument with yourself. Um, or if you agree with me, also leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Am I being uh, too harsh on these things? Have I just seen too many um, people that are friends of mine getting burned with having to take their motorcycles, chiefly Royal Enfields, back to the shop over and over because more stuff goes wrong and more stuff gets stripped and the quality and the finish just doesn't impress me? Maybe. Maybe. Have I been spoiled by Japanese motorcycles that, you know, don't do these things? Maybe. Should we hold manufacturers accountable to set standards of, I don't know, maybe in the first 10,000 miles, the thing shouldn't piss gas and piss oil everywhere? I think so. Maybe I'm crazy. Leave me a comment. Let me know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my rants. Sorry about this. Um, next one will hopefully be a little bit more informative. As always, ride safe. Peace.